hello everyone welcome back to the new video and in this video we are going to talk about a scam that happens a lot i'm talking about coupon abuse so we need to look at what it is how it happens and why hackers target coupons a lot and i'm going to show you a real report as well so you can understand how ethical hackers and security researchers identify this vulnerability as well okay so let's jump into it First, let's understand what a coupon is. A coupon is a promotional offer, you can also call it a voucher, which is provided by a business that gives customers a discount when making a purchase. Pretty much you all are aware about this one, like you're making a purchase, whatever platform it is, you can apply a coupon and get 20% off um, or some fixed amount off. I don't know, it's not always percentage actually. Coupons can offer a fixed amount as well, like $10 off or free shipping or buy one get one deal something like that it could be store credits or rewards as well so coupon abuse is the intentional misuse of discount codes or promotions in ways they were not intended or allowed by a business so why hackers target coupons hackers target coupons because they offer a direct path to money with low risk what do i mean by that Basically, coupons directly reduce the price of a product, right? So abusing them is almost the same as getting cash. And at the same time, using coupon usually looks like normal customer behavior, which makes it hard to notice. It just seems like a lot of customers are applying coupon. So it's kind of hard to identify that. And it's intended behavior. Okay, so let's talk about what are the common ways hackers abuse coupon codes. There are different ways, actually. So... First one is guessable coupon codes. Some coupon codes are created using simple or predictable patterns like common words or numbers. For example, a company runs a seasonal sale using codes like uh, winter 10, winter 20, and winter 30. But you can see the pattern here, every coupon code is starting with winter. So a hacker discovers that these codes follow a pattern. After finding one valid code, they realize others likely exist. And soon the working code spreads across forums and group chats and thousands of people use it even though it was never meant to be public. So if a coupon can be guessed, it can be abused. So that's why it's really important for companies to use a coupon code that is random, like a random value with numbers and letters. Anyways, moving on to the next one we have is reusing single use coupons. Many coupons are meant to be used only once and by one customer. So if the system does not properly track usage, like which user is using which coupon and how many times they are using a particular coupon, if they have used it already, they shouldn't be able to do it again. So all of this logic happens in the back end through the code and if the code has a flawed logic, hackers can abuse this. They can apply the same coupon multiple times and even though it should be expired. And this causes a lot of loss to the business as well. Let's talk about the third one we have is fake account farming. It allows hackers to multiply discounts that were meant for only one person. So most platforms give their best coupons to new users. So this is an example. If there's a new user who just created an account, they give a coupon to it, you know, so the customers stay longer in their platform. So by creating many fake accounts or new accounts, hackers can claim the same offer over and over again even though it was meant to be used once. So these are some basic ways kinda that do it in the wild, but there are more ways than this and I'm going to explain you that through this report. This one is reported to Stripe. You know Stripe is really popular, it's been used by many businesses and people who do freelancing and stuff or anyone who just who want to do transactions and stuff okay so let's have a look at it okay this is reported by eon hope i'm pronouncing that right so the title goes fee discounts can be redeemed many times resulting in unlimited fee free transactions okay so now let's give it a quick read to get the idea Hi there, first up, I'm an actual Stripe customer using Stripe for my real business, so I use my actual Stripe account to test this. I realize it's not ideal, but hope you understand given the unique scenario. I was recently offered a fee discount of $20,000 on Stripe transactions. Stripe support applied the offer to my account. Okay, so what is this? So if you're not aware of this, basically when you do a transaction on Stripe, 
they will get a fixed amount out of your transaction so it's a small stripe fee okay so basically stripe offered him a free discount of twenty thousand dollars it means if you make more stripe transactions he doesn't have to pay the fee it will be covered up to twenty thousand dollars so that's really good one okay so stripe support applied the offer to my account and i was shown a prompt to accept the fee discount in my dashboard i decided i should try to look for race condition in this acceptance so basically race condition is a vulnerability where you perform multiple action at the same time and see how the backend reacts so most of the cases the backend will get confused and do an intended action so i have created a dedicated video on race condition you can check it out from the i button you're gonna learn a lot from that okay now let's move on to this so i use burp turbo intruder to raise the request that accepts the fee discount and this is the path of the request so basically what he's trying to do is trying to send multiple acceptance request to the server acceptance of fee discount offer it seems a race was not even needed though so i called it 30 times and 30 fee discounts were immediately applied to my account as a result i now have six hundred thousand dollars of fee free processing applied to my account isn't that crazy he sent 30 requests to accept the discount offer so basically accepting it 30 times and if you multiply 30 with twenty thousand dollars you will get six hundred thousand dollars and he was able to claim it to his account and this is really crazy okay so for this bug he was awarded with the five thousand dollar bounty which is good and if we scroll down i think yeah there is um a request as well so this is the actual post request that is vulnerable and we have the path here and this is the customer id so basically sending this request 30 times using this turbo intruder code and he was able to identify the vulnerability so yeah, i think people often forget about uh, testing race conditions but it is worth looking for especially in cases like these okay so that's it for this video hope you enjoyed watching it let me know your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe i've noticed that a lot of people watching my video are not actually subscribed so don't forget to hit the button and i'll see you in the next one